if you've ever done any kind of project like this, then you know it's never easy. How did he even it never is as simple as you think it's going to be. So always give yourself extra time. All right, so we're in Clues in Florida at my brother's homestead here. He's got the new Starlink. We're going to set it up, unbox it, mount it somewhere up in the, uh, the wood here, <laughs> and uh, get it going, do a couple speed tests. So this is our old, old satellite dish, Viasat. We're going to be setting up Starlink. Meaning, like, if you want to screw it to that board, screw it to the front of the um, screen room there. I don't care if there's only 75 feet of cable yeah. in the box, supposedly. Oh. So we're going to set up the Starlink. It finally came in after one year and what? Two days? Two weeks? About one year and two week wait. This is our unboxing. The logo inside of the logo. For the ground stand, that's cool. Shows us how we're supposed to set it up. Seventy-five feet of cable. Connector. Yep. Okay. And this looks like our little router. In the base. And a power cord. And a manual. So we didn't watch any videos on this. We don't know how to set it up. But it looks pretty straightforward, so we're just going to set it up. And we'll figure it out. And set up and install. Where should I install my Starlight? Needs a clear view of the sky so it can stay connected with satellites as they move overhead. Uh, objects such as tree branch, pole, roots, or roof will cause interruptions. Use the Starlink app to check for obstructions and find the install location that will deliver the best service. All right, so we're going to download the app. Find a permanent mount in an elevated location like a roof, pole, or wall provides the best insulation for service. <clears throat> sure, Starlink is mounted. Or is installed as close to the vertical as possible. Additional mounts and cable routing accessories are available for purchase on the Starlink shop once your kit is ready to ship. Oh, so maybe you can get longer cables. Alright, so we're going to do a little assessment and figure out, get a few things set up, and then we'll uh, come back. Alright, so where's the cable at? So basically, we're going to, we found we can disconnect the one end of the Starlink, which is a more straight cable. The other end is more like a, a T, and there's no way we'd fit it through a hole. So we're going to go through this hole here and mount and just hang this thing on the roof for now. So this ain't going to reach. It ain't going to reach. I got going outside. We got it going outside. So apparently what comes in the box with this setup is that kind of star-shaped bracket that is basically a ground mount for it. Um, it says in the instructions 
that for they recommend a more permanent setup and that you can pretty nice it's better than my workshop yeah, <laughs> that you can they recommend a more permanent solution and you can order once your kit is available you can order from the website so you can get a pole mount or you can get like a flashing mount we don't have any of that stuff yet so what we're gonna do is just set it up with the ground mount get a signal from it make sure we can get internet and at a later date we'll have to come back and mount it on a pole or something a little more permanent Man, this box is like completely in the way. so apparently the place to mount it the place the cables coming in is is behind that box yeah which is also kind of really up against the wall so it ought to be fun oh my god how do you hang it up if you've ever done any kind of project like this then you know it's never easy how did he even it never is as simple as you think it's going to be so always give yourself extra time All right, so <laughs> plan B, plan C, whatever it may be, drill another hole. Okay, let's go back outside and do one this way. And we'll... Oh, you gotta have to figure out where this hole is. You can't just go outside. <laughs> well, I did it exactly like okay, you said. Okay, how far over is it? I did it to the. Oh, I did a little off to the edge of the silver here, from the bottom of the AC. So we're right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing out. So we took exact measurements. <laughs> yeah, you guys this is gonna be terrible. see inside <laughs> but we're close hopefully we got I'm be. sure there's a better way to do this and we didn't do it the better way <laughs> you can see from the outside to the inside so seems like we got it in the right place hopefully now the goal is gonna be hey buddy. Hey buddy. the goal is gonna be to get the cable through this little hole in the wall so we can try and mount the dish. We're going to need to make it a little bigger. We need something bigger, Jeff? No, I mean, we might be able to round it out. I want to make sure you get test it from that side to see because I don't want to get it in the wall and stuck. Yeah, I agree. How big is your hole? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's personal. How this side's it? fine. This side's drywall. It's easy. Oh, it's just straight It'll drywall? It'll through, yeah. So, here's a hole I made out here. I had to make it wide enough in the siding, but this can be covered up and painted. Now we're going to try and get this thing through. Oh, 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 I got it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It got twisted. Wait. All right, we're in. That's it, ladies. That's how you pull a cable through a hole. And how you make a hole to pull the cable through. Here. All right, so now we have the cable running in. Again, we're just going to connect it. This is where the internet equipment is in here. Um, for now, temporarily, and then when we have a better mounting system, we can use the rest of this cable that's looped up here and kind of stretch it out and put it somewhere more permanent. How much slack did you give me? None. 
All right. Ow, it's hot up here. So I'm on the roof of the camper. I mean, of the the trailer, as my brother calls it, the tr the house. It's a camper. It's just a camper. It has wheels, but it won't move. And we're gonna mount this thing. I think. Oh yeah, I have to go through the bottom of the base first with that. So I'm going to go through the bottom of the base with the cable and into the, the end of this. <laughs> oh, it got me saying that like a bitch. Edit that out, Jim. Okay. Alright, here we go. So through the base. See, I'm in the base here. I'm gonna put this guy in here. Snap, click it in. Yeah. It's not clicking in very good. And then that's it. This is supposed to be tilted up. Alright, so we are we are plugged in. And we're aiming. Oh, I gotta be careful of this sharp roof. This is not a permanent space, so it's okay. So now we're gonna go inside. We can make it down. And I think you just set up with an app on the Starlink thing. So we'll see what that looks like. And hopefully it will make its own connection, find its satellites up in space somewhere and get us internet. All right, so we're gonna record it while we set it up. So we're going to see what this thing does while it's in setup mode. So we'll be back. Okay, so I got the power cord plugged in. And then the other cable that goes all the way out is plugged into the second port. So I'm going to make the connection now on my phone. Whatever. Wi-Fi name. Motion, um, we will go off screen for this. Non-Starlink Wi-Fi router. This it's, thing's not even lit up. It's gonna be. Hold on. It's. It wants us to connect to the. There's the woods. Let me type the password. <laughs> Take a quick look over here, buddy. Okay, we're connected. You're disconnected. It's connecting. You're disconnected. It's gonna connect. You're disconnected. It's connected. You're online. The woods are online. <laughs> the woods. All so, the woods. Ooh, speed. Let's do a quick speed test. Don't you have to like calibrate? It doesn't do anything. The thing's up there probably dancing uh -huh. right now. <laughs> it says it's gonna take time to do it, yeah. about that new website garbage.com it's gonna be better we're talking to space right now matthew it's gonna take time I wonder if it is moving around at all. 
Everything's going down like the stock market. <laughs> Says it's online. Visibility. It's got a check mark. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Check for obstructions. Starlink is still collecting data on obstructions. This usually takes about 12 hours. Yeah. We're set up. Is that it? I think Dunzo's? we did it. I think we did it. Alligators. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Alligators.